Okay, so last but not least on the single pages. This one's going to go on page 20 of your notebook. Okay, and this will probably be the last one of the last things we look at. Um, actually, we'll do page 21 with a couple of examples as well with using the rise over run, but we should have already looked at the example before and been able to determine that. But this is going to go on page 20. This is finding slope from a table. This is going to be probably the harder um, ones to look at as you go through this. Um, but remember, M, that's my slope. Okay, my change in y, it's the same thing as saying y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1, or rise over run. Now, since we're not using a table, we're going to be looking more at the, the change in y over the change in x. And so what we're going to do is go from each value, and we want to determine what the change is. Okay, so when I go from negative 1 to 2, that increases by a value of 3. 2 to 4, it increases by a value of 2. 4 to 5, it increases by a value of 1. 5 to 8, it increases by a value of 3. Now we're not looking for a pattern here because what we're going to end up doing is comparing the change in y over here and the change in x. Okay, we're going to do the same thing for the y. Okay, negative 2 to 4 is a difference of positive 6. Okay, the negative 2 to 0 and then plus 4 more. 4 to 8 is a change of 4. 8 to 10 is a change of 2. And 10 to 16 is a change of 6. Now, the hard part here is we're going to calculate the slope for each of these values. Okay, and so I'm going to use four different colors to kind of help... Um, show which one I'm doing first. So I'm going to look at the change in y, which the change in y of these first two values is a positive 6. So change in y over change in x. I have a 6 for my y, and then I have a 3, which this will give me when I reduce it down to 2. Okay, so this was the first slope that I calculated. The next slope I'm going to calculate, I'm going to look at the change in y and the change in x for the pink values. Okay, and so m equals, my change in y was 4 over 2, which when I reduce that is 2. Okay. Next one. Okay, I'm going to do the yellow values here. So the change in y, 8 to 10, was a positive 2. Change in x was a positive 1, which when I reduce that down, I get a 2. Okay, and then last but not least, let's see if I can find another color. These last two, 10 to 16, okay, was a change in a 6. My x values was a change in 3, and when I reduce that, I get a slope of 2. So you can see that this table of values, landscape slipping. This table of values, no matter what the values are, should be a linear equation because all of the slopes are going to be um, two. Okay, and so finding slope from a table. Unfortunately, this is going to be the longest one. Okay, you find that pattern um, down here when you actually calculate the slope.